The bathroom is downstairs and to the right, in case anyone's wondering. I want to start by thanking everyone for coming so much. We appreciate all your support. Almost everyone in this room has contributed at least a small something, most likely a big something. So thank you again. My name is Eric Spielmaker. My father's name is Eric as well. He, I'm Eric James, he's Eric Gordon. Um, I go by EJ and he goes by Mo, but it's easier when we're together, so remember that, EJ and Mo, Spielmaker. You might know the name Spielmaker. We've been in this city a long time. My great-grandfather started a kitchen cabinetry business. How many years ago? We celebrated 82 years this year. 82 years. So. I was in the Air Force for about six years, and I planned to attend college in the Northeast. I ended up finding, um, traveling the U.S. for about six months after I got out, and visited Jeff Preston in Florida, discovered some things, visited some communities, and ended up Googling sustainable living degree. I didn't even know if there was such a thing existed. So I go to Maharishi School in Iowa and I started learning sustainable living because I thought it was the real world way to solve real world problems. Like lack of proper food, water, shelter, and medical care. So one of the things I was convinced of by these futurists, supposed futurists like John Fresco, supposed utopians, they claim that we've had the technology and resources since World War II to give everyone food, water, shelter, and medical care on the whole planet. Uh, most of the fields that I drive through in, uh, in school and I learned around here, as you mostly know, are corn and soy. Genetically modified corn and soy. It's mostly used to feed cattle. So, tugging at the strings of the food supply led me on a long personal journey. And it ultimately led to this idea of Clintopia coming up on an organic farming conference in Allerton, Wisconsin. I'll always give credit to Mark Chavez for being on the bus, and he wrote down Detroitopia on a notebook and had two pages scribbled with all these ideas. We had just watched the documentary film Urban Roots, which is about the urban farming boom in Detroit, Michigan. So once I saw Detroitopia in the notebook, he, I said, Mark, what are you doing? And he said, we gotta do this, man. And Mark is a Latino guy from LA. He's really energetic. He's about 40 years old, he acts and looks like he's 25. And uh, I said, no, it should be Flintopia. Um, I'm from Flint, Michigan. We suffer from the exact same economic problems as Detroit. In fact, most people forget that General Motors is from Flint, Michigan. They also forget that we once had the highest wage on the Earth planet, $20 an hour in 1960. So. It took me leaving and coming back to rediscover this place because I see it differently now. I used to come home and get that sinking feeling in my stomach. But now I just see greenhouses everywhere. Um, we want to create jobs. Our mission is green, education, and social, which, re which is really just permaculture. People are intimidated by that word because they don't know what it means. Uh, it's really just dinner with friends and you don't have to pay for your energy bill. Um, it's care for Earth, care for people, share the abundance. This is spelled by Australians. They're real clever. <laughs> but it's a design system, it's an ethics system, and it's also a uh, how do you use energy efficiently. Solar panels cost less than a dollar a lot. There's no reason that anyone should have to pay for electricity. I know people who have known to make them from uh, junk parts. So we want to create a model that other people can copy, or at least can learn from us, and we can learn from them. Again, it's green social and education. Green includes infrastructure. People often bump us, up, bump us in with the green groups in town, and we, we work with all those groups. The ones that sponsor this event, I pick this up because I dare not forget any of the names. Terry's up there, there's Russ Bedford. Edward, Terry from Edward Plant, Russ Bedford, Lindsay Democracy, Fun, Volunteers of America, right there. Thank you for co sponsoring the event. Also, of course, John, where's he at? From Flint Talk Radio, right there. And of course, Tim Colley, and his wife Elizabeth, heirloom from Edwin Peace Gardens. So, thank you all for hosting the event. Thank you all who brought food. 
add one to that? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you to Tara, our secretary, Tom Bang Tom. Get a hold of that guy, he's a juggler. Every Tuesday and Thursday, noon to four, right here. That's right, tea time with Terry, Tom, and Tara. The letter T, not the drink, but you can drink tea if you want. But we just want people to eat and drink together because that's how Homo sapiens had bonded for like 200,000 years. So it's a really simple thing. Come here at noon to four, you don't have to stay the whole time. Meet and greet. You can stay up in the meeting if you want to. But this building is used for AA meetings, NA meetings, and we'll put that here. It's open 365 days a year for birthday parties, community events. They almost organized a boy, uh, a bus boycott here. So um, we're open to any and all ideas, but we really just want to put clean food in people's mouths and water. So um, people in the city and in the Rust Belt are already stressed as it is from lack of resources. So I want to, we want to get creative with sustainability and figure out how to reap the benefits from the earth. It's all around us. Um, orchards, I'm obsessed with food forests, okay? Forests of food, it's amazing. It's like a, they found one in near, the, uh, near where Jesus was crucified, and it was, I think, 4,000 years old. Someone thought it maybe it was what inspired the Garden of Eden. There's another one that was 1,000 years old. I can't remember what part of the world was, maybe someone knows. But I want these all over Flint. The golf courses are empty. We can fill those with, I mean, turn them into frisbee golf courses, turn them into food forests, do community harvest. You can make jam, pickles, sauerkraut. That's that farmer coalition. You gotta shout out to them. Um, they're, it's written, as Delaney explained very well, finally, veterans have been written into the farm bill. And as she says, it should be called the food bill, okay? Um, so we get put to the front of the line and we're eligible for programs. Also a stand that says, homegrown by heroes. I mean, 50% of the product was made by a veteran. So I'm gonna start with sauerkraut, pickles, salsa, jam, stuff like that. Sell it locally and put the recipe on the back so people can make their own. You really just wanna put food, clean food in people's mouths. Thank you coming out for coming out to support veterans. Ventopia, all the green groups in Flint, and especially the Lane Yellows, director of Crown Operations, for this amazing thing she said the other day, going beyond the bumper sticker. People say they support the troops all the time. Um, and she said that, go beyond the bumper sticker. And that's what she's done by making this film. She's networked with a lot of people, um, a lot of people I can't wait to meet. And that's what we're trying to do, bring people together to pass on knowledge so that there's a little bit extra next generation. And with what, with what I've seen is possible, I'm just really excited for the next three to five years to unfold. We've only been in this building for about nine months and you should have seen it. <laughs> Woo! So thank you again. Most humble gratitude for all your participation and all the posts, all the likes, everything. Believe me, I see them and I appreciate them. Thank you. So I want to let you know, I'm Delaney, and um, that's not what I want to let you know. Um, I let the film speak for itself, but I do like to let veterans in the room know um, at, the, at the head that there's about seven minutes of interspersed combat in the film in the beginning seven minutes of the film none of it is graphic but uh, people have all kinds of different sensitivities so for some people just hearing a helicopter can be a problem so i just want to let the veterans know that they are welcome if they need to tip on out the room for a few minutes We'll be happy to pull you back in when we go straight to farming. <laughs> um, so, and, and sometimes just being aware is helpful so that you can get your mindset right. Um, so, with that in mind, on with the show. Oh, 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 afterwards, just so that you know, afterwards, we want to engage you all in this conversation about how to strengthen the local food system and the part that people like. Eric and other veterans can play, as well as other people, of course, but that's the lens through which we're watching this. Okay, thanks.